You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. Do you need a car? Been shopping only to be turned down because of bad credit, low credit, no credit, bankruptcy, or divorce? Guess what? Today's your lucky day. Because now you can buy a car, truck, or SUV, just about any vehicle. It's true. Bad credit doesn't matter. No credit doesn't matter. Bankruptcy or divorce, it just doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, your job is your ticket to your new vehicle. We're Auto Credit Express, and we've helped thousands of people just like you. Antonio H. told us, great company, got me connected, and the day I went in, I drove off in the car I wanted. 100% worth your time. Need a car? Get started now and drive off as early as today. Just text FINANCE, F-I-N-A-N-C-E, to 357 right now to get started. That's FINANCE, F-I-N-A-N-C-E, to 357 Auto financing the easy way. Text FINANCE to 357 <laughs> KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Everyone loves liberty. Our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information, or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, Think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. 
Sometimes writers feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. I keep swinging for the fences. It's like this heart is defenseless. Against a passion that's pumping through my veins. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rick Robinson. We are live right now on KLRNRadio.com, where liberty and reason still reign. And we're about 60 seconds away from the Monday edition of the America Off the Rail show. Oh, my God, it's Monday again. But have we got lots of stuff to talk about, so it's a good thing that it's Monday. Because it was not slow news Monday. There was There's all kinds of news. So let's uh, get ready. Go, you got about 60 seconds. Go grab a drink. Make yourself comfortable. Hang out in the chat. You can join us at KLRNRadio.com forward slash or backslash. Is it forward slash or backslash? I always get that confused. Anyway, go to KLR and Radio. Click on the chat link. You can join about uh, some folks that are already in there. And uh, we'll be back in about 60 seconds. Don't go away. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. You're my favorite host. Favorite host. Favorite host. I'm going off the rail, got a crazy train. I'm going off the rail, got a crazy train. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. I'm kind of sad that I'm out of bubblegum, to be honest. But yeah, so anyway, this is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Monday. It is October 15th, 2018. Where did September go? It's like I blinked and it was over. Um, But anyway, so speaking of blinking and it was over, lots of interesting things have happened in the news today. So we're just going to kind of lead off with the big ones. So Chief Liawatha uh, of the pretendian tribe has now basically taken a DNA test to attempt to shut up Donald Trump because, you know, he said, hey, you take a DNA test. If you can prove you have any Native American ancestry, I will give you a million dollars. So the test is back. She has some Native American ancestry. So the jury's out as to whether or not he owes the million dollars. So let me put put that to rest for you guys. Um, I don't think he does because she has less Native American ancestry than pretty much the rest of the American population. So there, there's a general rule of how much is typically um, Native ancestry for most of the American population, and she's actually well below the average. So not only is she not 
anywhere near what she claimed. She has less Native American ancestry than most of the United States of America. However, she got a job at a, a, a very prestigious school because she said she was Native American during the application process. If that was if, if that was me, I'd be in jail right now. Can we just be honest? The scary thing is I don't look like it, but I have more Native American ancestry than Elizabeth Warren. The difference is my family didn't, you know, I have um, Sioux ancestry on one side and Cherokee on the other. Neither of my families, which were all the way back to my great grandparents, during that time frame, going on to the rolls meant that you were likely going to, they were afraid anyway, that they were going to be rounded up and executed. So most of my family members on both sides of my family who were native actually chose not to go on to the rolls. So it, it doesn't do me any good to claim it otherwise. But I remember being really confused as a kid because you remember those survey kids or survey cards that they used to give out back when, you know, when you were ancient and going back to school like the late 70s, early 80s, there were all these ethnicity survey cards that you had to fill out. And I remember being like five, six, and seven years old, and my parents fighting over what box I should pick. And that's when I realized there was something going on that I wasn't necessarily being told about. Because my dad was like, under no circumstances is he ever to check anything other than white. And I'm, or Caucasian, I guess was what it, and actually, I think back then it actually still said white. And I remember looking at my skin and thinking, well, why would I pick anything else? Turns out there was there were a few skeletons in the closet in my family, like the fact that my dad wasn't really proud of the fact that we had Native American ancestry. So when it comes right down to it, I'm pretty sure if I took a test, I would probably find out that I'm more Cherokee than Elizabeth Warren, but she got a cush job at Harvard because of her makeup situation status there. So yeah, fun times. So that's that, that's big story number one. And of course, everybody's having all kinds of fun with it. And we're actually going to get into that here in just a second. But we're up against a break. So sadly, this is a network break, so I can't push it. So we'll be right back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Stay tuned. <laughs> Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so before we went to break, we were talking about Big Chief Liawatha or Elizabeth Warren, whichever one you want to call her. Um, She's now confirmed a member of the Pretendian tribe because she has less Native American ancestry in her DNA than pretty much everybody else in in or on the continent of America. Uh, North America, South America, take your pick, doesn't matter. Um, But so, see, here's the thing. While I'm having having fun with it, and I've been having fun with it all day, because anytime I can give a Democrat a black eye without actually having to punch them, I actually, I don't know. Maybe it makes me a bad person, but it makes me feel better. But at the same time, I'm just thinking, aren't there more important stories that we should be talking about? I'm actually a little bit surprised that she took the test at all, because she had to know that she was a liar. And that's bas- and so basically she allowed the president to push her in- push her into a situation where she felt compelled to take a DNA test to try to prove that she wasn't lying about what she said when she filled out the job application and now we've come to find out that she did lie when she filled out the job application. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here, who hasn't fibbed on a job application? I- I'm just being honest. You know, but especially when you're first when first getting out of high school, going to college, trying to get a good job, 
you you were like patting your resume, right? Because you have well, I know a guy who works here. I'm gonna call him. And be like, hey man, if I if I put you down, will you give me a reference and say that I worked here? Blah 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 blah. I mean, come on. I'm just being honest. Again, does that make me a bad person? Maybe. But here's the difference. I'm not a sitting senator. I had no interest. Well, I take that back. At one point in time, I'd actually thought about maybe going into politics or even being a lawyer. Then I discovered I had this insane fear of public speaking. Then I started preaching and eventually got into talk radio. Um, explain to you, how does that work? So you're afraid of public speaking, so you don't want to get up in a room and give, you know, opening arguments, closing arguments, question witnesses, but you eventually start preaching in a small church and years later wind up starting a syndicated talk show that in some markets is actually listened to by anywhere from five to six million people over the weekend. But you are terrified of public speaking. See, that that was the interesting thing. And that, that, but to, to back up a little bit, you guys remember that I was on KOKC uh, back in August and September for a couple of weeks here and there. The very first time that I sat down to do that, when the ad roll started r running, kind of like we do here, there's usually about five, six minutes worth of ad roll. Um, I was completely freaking out. And the thing that, that eventually s stopped me from freaking out was remembering that, you know, when the show is on CRN, uh, that that's in California and it's 14 times the size of the market of Oklahoma City. So the fact that I was freaking out was kind of silly, but I remember sitting there thinking when the ad roll came on, what am I doing here? What was I thinking? I can't do this. And then the music started and I realized it was too late to run out of the building. The rest is history. I did not get the gig, unfortunately, which is both good and bad because I'm back to not getting paid on a regular basis to do this stuff, but I am back to being able to be with you guys pretty much every night of the week, uh, doing one show or the other, either in front of the mic or behind the scenes. So that is a good thing. Um, and it also gives me time to talk about these type of stories, which I'm sorry. Again, I probably shouldn't be laughing so much at her pain, but Elizabeth Warren, to my estimation, hasn't been anything but a blowhard that has set the Democratic Party back by decades because she wouldn't just stop trying to lie. Now she's gotten caught in the lie. And to me, that is absolutely glorious. So that's point number one. Point number two, Michael Avenetti got schooled today for the second time in just about as many weeks. So Smarmy Daniels, as I, or Stormy Daniels, I like to call her Smarmy Daniels, I've heard worse names, but I kind of prefer Smarmy because after listening to her, she's just Smarmy. But anyway, so Smarmy Daniels had her lawsuit dismissed today. You know, the whole defamation suit that, you know, she was swearing up and down that she was going to take the president to the cleaners and she was going to get all his money and this happened and that happened. Judge says no. Judge actually smacked it down so hard that she has to pay back Donald Trump's attorney's fees. So I'm going back to a question that I've been asking ever since this happened. As soon as we figured out money changed hands for sex, because that's basically what we're talking about right now. First of all, why wasn't she brought up on charges for extortion? Second of all, now that whatever trumped up, see what I did there, charge has been tossed. Again, why hasn't she brought up been brought up on charges for extortion? I mean, because at this point, you know, it's it's up to the president. I mean, at this point he's probably going to wind up getting more back from her having to eventually pay back his attorney's fees um, than he gave out to her to begin with. Now, again, for everybody that's about to start sending me hate mail, I don't agree with the fact that the president had an affair with someone, but let's face it, he wasn't the president at the time. This is, this is over a decade ago. He was a private citizen. It's one of the reasons why I don't really understand why he paid her off in the first place. Come on, dude. You're 70 some odd years old. You've been banging porn stars for most of your adult life. From a guy perspective, to, to take a page from Charlie Sheen, hashtag winning. You should have just ran with it, much less paid her money and then had her take you to court. Now she's got to give you money back. I don't know. Again, several other more important things that we should be talking about, but these have been the high points of the day as far as the Democratic news cycle because it's only getting worse. 
you know, they've been talking about this blue wave, right? And they've been talking about the fact that they were going to take over the House and they were going to take over the Senate and then they were going to impeach Donald Trump. So then if you look at the gen- if you look at the generic balloting nationwide, at one point, the Democrats had a plus 10 generic. Plus 10, meaning that everybody that was polled, basically the, the Democrats had about a 10 point margin over the Republicans with a plus minus three for the margin of error. So that lead is basically evaporated. So now it's plus six, plus minus three. So it's almost within the margin of error. But here's the thing that nobody's talking about. If you look at the early voting turnout, people that are monitoring that stuff are saying that it looks more like a twenty, more like the 2016 election cycle than it does the midterm. And if you look at the battleground states, Democrats so far are losing those particular states. Even in, even in areas where Trump lost, the Democrats are losing. And it's because they have no messaging. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not saying this because I don't want you guys to sit back, relax, take a breath and say, oh, this is great. This means I don't have to vote. No, that's not what this means at all. And again, just because I'm pushing for the Republicans right now doesn't mean they get a pass because I'm a libertarian. I don't like either party. But right now, we have a clear and present danger in front of us, and that is a Democratic Party that is pushing for violence, lying every chance they get, using whatever tricks they can pull out to try to stop this president in any way possible, and they're still doing it. To the point where delusional Elizabeth Warren took a DNA test, hoping she was going to be able to shut up the president, and all she did was prove his point, because she has less... Native American ancestry than probably you and I do. All right, we're up against a break. We're going to keep talking about some of these numbers that nobody else is talking about. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back before you know it. Stay tuned. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, 
dollars, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We do this thing typically every two uh, Monday. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to split it up based on time zones because uh, things are a little bit different now. So Mondays and Wednesdays are now 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Monday is because um, Liz and Bill uh, were having difficulty getting the show done at the later time slot, and I was having difficulty getting my show before their show. So we swapped time slots. Uh, two and then Wednesday is because I again uh, Bunny is on, and I wanted to make sure. That she had her usual time slot once I had taken back the 8 o'clock slot. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. However, this Thursday, I will be out of town. I have a football game that actually got moved to Thursday, so there will be no Jen and Rick this Thursday. And unfortunately, no America Off the Rails either. However, that does mean that we should be able to pull off another Robinson and Wright because there's no football on Friday this week. So, two in a row. Woohoo! All right, so programming update there. Um, also, tomorrow night I'll be making an, an announcement about a couple of guests that'll be, that'll be joining me Wednesday night. Kind of in a, uh, It's a bit of a big deal locally, um, so I, I don't really have time to go into it tonight. I might try to squeeze a little bit of information <coughs> in towards the end of the show, but we'll just have to see. Um, but today, the show's kind of been mapped out as the, the basically the hits that keep on coming for the GOP. So we've got Liawatha and her genetic test. We've got Smarmy Daniels basically getting smacked down by the judge. Uh, now we've got Hillary Clinton, who I'm not sure, you know, I'm not trying to steal anybody's thunder. Folks in the chat have been talking about the fact that she might as well be uh, campaigning for the GOP. And at this point, I might actually have to agree. She actually just came out. This is from CNN 12 hours ago. Bill did not abuse his power in his relationship with Monica Lewinsky while he was president of the United States. Okay, so Big Boss Man says, you suck on my cigar or else, but that's not abuse of power? I just, I don't, I don't understand how this works. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make a joke about it. I'm I'm really not, but I don't understand how this works. I don't understand how the left could be so completely out of touch right now where we have Hillary Clinton who's basically said the 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 people that Bill supposedly abused don't really fit into the Me Too movement because she doesn't believe them. We now have her saying Bill Clinton didn't abuse his presidential powers and it was an abuse of power for him to have a sexual relationship with an intern in the Oval Office. I don't understand the world I'm living in today. I, I just, I understand stand by your man. I, Hillary, I understand. You know, you grew up in the Patsy Cline era. I get it. But there comes a time when you got to face reality, girl. You just have to at this point. I mean, I, I know reality is a hard thing for you. <coughs> you know, that, that clip was notwithstanding because that was completely nuts. But just in general, you've got to face reality. You cannot keep defending this person. You have attacked every person that's ever come out and said that they that he has abused them. Now you're defending his behavior in the White House? Now these are the same people... Now, this is why I have an issue with this. These are the same people that are having a complete and total meltdown. Give me just a second here. Of course, the soundboard starts to mess up. These are the same people in the same breath, basically, that are having a cow over a consensual relationship that private citizen Donald Trump had with someone who wasn't his wife while he was married to his wife. Now, I'm no fan of that. I'm really not. But I'm also not a guy who's going to throw stones because none of us are perfect. At the same time, to forgive over and over again this philanderer 
who we know has assaulted women, to defend him, to vehemently defend him to the point where you're attacking the people that are coming out against him, and to now, now, within the last 12 hours, on a C uh, from CNN, say that you don't see that what he did with Monica Lewinsky was an abuse of power, even though he was an old man and she was a young girl who basically probably only did what she did because that was her boss. I mean, I'm not going to pretend to read her mind, but I have to think that at some point she was probably wondering how much longer she was going to have a job if she didn't do those things. I mean, I can't be the only one having that thought. I really, really can't. All right, so when we come back, we're at the bottom of the hour. Got to take another break. When we come back, though, we've got the hits that just keep on coming for the Democrats, like the fact that now in battleground states, in other words, states that the Democrats were hoping to flip, that Trump Trump won handily, they're now being told what they can and can't talk about during their campaigns. This is how bad it's getting for the Dems. We'll be right back. the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty Health Share is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, 
dollars, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back to the program. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Yeah, I know, Ron, I've said all right like 14 times tonight. Stop judging me. Anyway, um, at least I haven't said the other, <laughs> the L word yet much. I don't think I've said it yet. Anyway, all right. So again, just did it again. See, that's why I hate when I notice I start saying a word I'm trying to break myself of saying because then I start thinking about it every time I use it. Anyway, back to what we were talking about before the commercial break. Uh, we've been talking about the hits that have just keep coming, just kept coming for the Democrats today. Um, so we've got the Elizabeth Warren DNA test. We've got Smarmy Daniels lawsuit getting thrown out. We've got Hillary Clinton basically s- sticking her foot so far in her mouth it's actually coming out the other side. Um, we won't go there either. But so here's the other things that, you know, the the numbers that nobody's talking about, like the evaporation of the, um, enthusias- in, uh, the enthusiasm index for the left, uh, the fact that a lot of the areas that were considered... Um, pretty solid wins for them just a few short weeks ago. Those leads have kind of evaporated. To the, and based on early turnout, the numbers that are coming in from the absentee votes are looking to be more along the lines of 2016 lines so far than just a regular midterm. Um, now, along with that, you you start talking about the numbers that the, the, that the media is not talking about. The good economic numbers, the lowest unemployment rate, whether you look at the numbers... The, the way they're being put together now or not is still the lowest econo- or the lowest unemployment rate we've had in 49 years. I'm only 45. That means our unemployment rate is lowest than it is the lowest that it's been since before I was born. The unemployment rate has gotten so low that people are actually raising the wages at their companies voluntarily to try to get people to come in and fill the positions that they have. The, these are things that you would think the Democrats would be really, really happy about, but they're not. We have jobs coming back to the country. Now, I will admit, some of it, I mean, we are talking about a mixed bag. Some jobs are coming back. Other jobs that are more reliant on steel right now are kind of panicking because of the tariffs and they're starting to do layoffs. But overall, from what I've seen from the tariffs, they're actually doing a lot more good than they are harm, at least so far. If we can keep them going for the short term, long enough to bring everybody back to the table and get fair deals across the table, then I, if we can let those things go soon, I think we're going to be okay. The problem is a lot of our steel comes from China. China is not willing to negotiate. So that is going to become a problem eventually. The other problem that we have is because of poor leadership over the last several decades, China has a lot of our debt that they've bought. So at some point, they're going to be able to call in a marker. So it's going to come down to who blinks first. I'm not sure who it's going to be. But at some point, this situation will correct itself. It's either going to be China comes back to the table in good faith are they going to be like, well, you already buy most of our steel from you buy your steel from us anyway. So and also we have all of your debt over here in this hand. So you're going to have to do something. I don't know how this is going to play out, but this is one of the things that's been kind of just sitting there in the back of my mind going at some point any day now, China can call in those markers. If we push too hard, that's what's going to happen. Right now. Things are favorable. The stock market's been a little bit mixed lately, but let's face it, it does that all the time anyway. But again, we have evil corporations like Target, Walmart, Amazon have raised their minimum wages on their own, voluntarily, without the government having to step in and make them do it. You want my opinion as to why the left is not happy with that? It's because of that last part. It isn't the government making them do it, so that's not good enough. We have consumer confidence still setting records. We have businesses repatriating money back into America at record levels. But nobody's talking about it because Donald Trump's an a-hole. Look, folks, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I did not vote for him in the general or the primary. 
I was never Trump until the day that he was sworn in. But there comes a point in time because when never Trump was originally, when the whole concept started, it was, I'm never going to vote for this man. And that was the promise that I made to myself because I did not think he was going to be a good president. I was wrong in so many ways, but I still stuck to my guns at the time because based on all the information that I had available to me, I was a thousand percent sure he was not going to win the election. And I felt like we were throwing it away by nominating him. When we had probably the best field that we've had candidate-wise, again, in my lifetime. But he won. He was nominated. He was elected. He was sworn in. For everybody that's still standing there today saying, if you were never Trump during the election and you're not never Trump now, you were a liar. So what you're telling me is you're now rooting for the plane that we're all sitting on to crash to prove a point because you don't like the fact that Donald Trump is the guy currently flying the plane. I have a huge problem with that. I also have a huge problem with the media not giving the man his due. If Barack, I've said this for months, if the economy under Barack Obama was doing what it is doing now under Donald J. Trump, I would have voted for the man in 2012 and told Romney to kiss my ass. But it wasn't. It is now. The fact that the media can't, I mean, look at his numbers. Look at his approval rating. Imagine the approval rating he would have if the media was giving him a fair shake. I'm not asking them to kiss his ass the way they did Obama. I'm asking them to treat him fairly, though. And they don't. Everything is negative. It doesn't matter what it is. The stock market goes up 4 billion points. Nobody says a word. Goes down 300. Oh my god, we're all gonna die and it's Donald Trump's fault! Even where we are now, the stock market is still at a record pace. And at a record high. But it's okay, it doesn't matter, because there was a correction. You know why there was a correction? Because the IMF started wringing their hands because of the tariffs. Because they're convinced Donald Trump is going to put the world into a trade war. Because he's Donald Trump and he's evil. Instead of letting the man do what he does, because it works. I still don't know why most of what he does works. But it does. I don't understand it. Because from from an economic standpoint, what he does shouldn't be working. But it is. From a political standpoint, what he's doing shouldn't be working. But it is. So why can't we just let him do what he's doing? Why do we have to tear him apart on every little thing? Everything the man says, everything he does is under a microscope. Melania Trump, just this last week was telling people that she felt like she was the most persecuted woman on the planet, and all of these women were like, you don't know what you're talking about. Are you kidding me? She's seen death threats to her husband. She's seen, she's had to explain to her child that the person holding a severed head from her dad, for her dad, actually, you know, it's, it's just a prop, son. It's not a big deal. She's been attacked over everything. So yeah, I think she's got grounds to say that she's one of the most persecuted women on the planet is she the most no but when everybody's coming against you you're going to feel that way she is entitled to feel that way just like all these other women that don't feel like they're well you guys don't listen to me because i have a vagina i got news for you ladies most of the most of the men that listen they only listen because you have one of those just being honest all right we're gonna take a break we'll be right back My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. 
It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is, if getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now, 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Welcome back, folks. So as we start rounding third towards home, because uh, we're into the last couple of segments, figured we'd uh, start doing a, things a little bit uh, differently on Monday nights. We're probably going to start doing some Twitter hot takes. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Trying not to die on the air. Um, this one is actually from Ari Fleischer. Uh, Michael Avenetti is having a strong month. First, he helped put Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court. Now he's put Stormy Daniels into debt. Boy, I hope he becomes the Democratic nominee for president. With that kind of track record, he'll make Hillary look good. Uh, That was actually a quote tweet from the Washington Post article. Judge throws out Stormy Daniels' lawsuit against Trump and orders the adult film actress to pay the president's legal fees. Another, well, actually a Twitter hot mess take is from Tariq Nasheed. So, with the whole Elizabeth Warren thing today, Tariq Nasheed has taken to Twitter and said the following. I find it ironic that the current, and he put current in all caps, Cherokee Nation, and that was in quotes, said Elizabeth Warren claiming Native American DNA is inappropriate when most of these current Cherokee leaders, most of the current, again capital, Cherokee leadership consists of $5 or fake $5 pretendians who went out of their way to expel the black Cherokees. So, just to make sure that we're on the same page, Tariq Nasheed is mad that everybody else, that everybody's calling Elizabeth Warren a pretendian, but she he just basically called the entire Cherokee Nation leadership a bunch of pretendians. I don't understand. I'm not sure that that, that I don't know if that's going to do what you were hoping it was going to do. But those are two of the biggest Twitter hot takes that I've seen for the day. It was a little sad to find out that Tariq Nasheed was back on Twitter. It was kind of nice when he wasn't. Um, but he's back and he's yeah, better than ever, I guess, if that's what you like to listen to. But, so here's the thing. Um, As we come to the last few minutes of the show, I have a question. What do we want this country to represent? And I've asked this a lot lately, but I'm asking it for a reason. Do we want the country to represent the rule of law? Or do we want the country to represent mob rule? Look, it doesn't matter what Elizabeth Warren's DNA test says. At the end of the day, who cares? It it doesn't matter if she wants to say as far as she's concerned, she's Cherokee. I really don't care. She can take that up with Cherokee leadership. If they want to adopt her, I'm good with that. I don't care. Because we have other things that are going on. Because now we we have Antifa. And now we have this new group on the right calling themselves the Proud Boys. I don't even know what the hell that is. But now they're fighting each other in the streets. You know, it's one thing when you have people like ginning things up on Twitter and Facebook 
It's another thing when you start having leadership of the left calling for violence. Eric Holder, they go low, we kick them. Hillary Clinton, we can, the left can't be civil with the right until we're in power again. And now we have basically turf wars going on in New York City between Antifa and the Proud Boys, whatever the a Proud Boy is. I just, I, I, I want things to go back to normal. I want there to be political discourse. I want people to be able to disagree and at the end of the day still be friends. I have several friends that that I disagree with vehemently over politics, but we're still friends. Are there days when they drive me crazy? Yes, but the reverse is also true. Probably more often with me because I'm more outspoken than they are because it's what I do. But we're still friends. That's like they look at the craziness coming from the left. They're like, hey, you're making a big deal over nothing. They're just saying what they need to say to get votes. That's fine. If that's how you want to look at it, I'm not saying you're wrong. What I am saying is if all if the only reason they're saying the things that they're saying is because they think that's what's going to get people to vote for them, but then they're going out in the streets and they're actually fighting with one another and they're inciting violence and Antifa is basically taking over small towns and there's gang wars going on in New York City based on political affiliation, I have a huge problem with all of those things happening in the United States of America. And I get it, politics has always been ugly for us. If you look at the history of politics in this country, it's been very, very scary. But we seem to have, at least for the short term, found an age of enlightenment where people were just, you know, at the end of the day, there it was like, you know, it, anybody remember the old Looney Tunes cartoon where the sheepdog and the coyote were, you know, it's actually probably one of my favorite episodes and it so illustrates the way politics used to be. Because they, they would come into work together, they would leave together, but and they would kind of pass each other, or they would walk in with each other as they were going in, and they would hit the time clock at the same time, and then the coyote and the sheepdog would be fighting each other all day, coyote trying to get to the sheepdog, sheepdog trying to stop the coyote from getting to the sheepdog, or getting to the sheep. But then, at the end of the day, they clock out. Actually, we won't even at the end at the begin during the middle of their shift. They pass each other on lunch break. How you doing, Ralph? How you doing, Sam? Because they're on lunch break. End of the day, they clock out. They walk out together. They're talking. They're having a good time because that's that's what politics is supposed to be. And one of the people that illustrated it the best I've ever seen it illustrated was Ronald Reagan. He said, "You know what? From eight to five, Tip, Tip O'Neill and I will go toe to toe." But at 501, I'm ready to go sit down and talk with him and have a beer somewhere. We can't do that anymore because of the partisan divides. And it's not because they don't want to. It's because they know if they do, they're going to get run out of their districts on a rail. Because everyone is the enemy now. If you do not agree with somebody 100% of the time, you are automatically an enemy, period, end of sentence. And nothing could be further from the truth. So at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves a question. What do we want this country to stand for? Do we want it to stand for rule of law? Or do we want it to stand for mob rule? I don't care what the letter is behind your name. If you're coming after my constitution, I'm going to fight you over it. I don't care what the letter is behind your name. If you're telling me that somebody that is trying to get into a position such as the Supreme Court who has a 37-year-old allegation dragged up against them that has zero proof, doesn't have the right to due process, I will fight you over that because that is not what this country was founded upon. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be back to close out the show here in about three minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs> My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. 
Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, believe it or not, we are just about out of time for this particular episode of America Off the Rails. I do hope everybody's had a great Monday evening. Thanks to everybody that's been hanging out in the chat. Um, You guys will be back live tomorrow night starting at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, first with America Off the Rails and then followed by Jen and Rick. So uh, two hours of talk radio again. Um, Also, I do believe, uh, based on information that I've been given, uh, Jess's POV is now gone to Tuesday, Thursdays only, so she'll be on after Jen and Rick. Also, before Jen and Rick, we actually have Wednesday World, so there's actually a full lineup tomorrow night uh, starting at 7 p.m. Let's see, 8 p.m. Eastern, so uh, 7 Central all the way through 10 Central. Um, And then, if you missed it last night, we actually had a brand new show that just started here on KLR and Radio. Um, the Lone Conservative. I encourage you guys to go check that out if you haven't had a chance yet. Um, he's actually a new addition. He was actually um, kind of courted over through Sam. So we're t- glad to have him here. He'll be airing his podcast version of his show um, every Sunday night at 9 Eastern. So <coughs> you guys check that out and give him some love since he's brand new around these parts. Again, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope everybody is having a great beginning to their week i will see you guys tomorrow night and remember in the words of billis preston esquire be excellent to each other i will see you guys when i see you take care and god bless if i can't walk then i'm crawling it might flicker but they can't kill the flame